Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create events in Wix.com. So I've already created my Wix site right here. If you haven't made yours, you can go ahead and create it first before you continue to watch this video. I created this Wix site without changing a lot of the elements in it or the wordings in it. And you can see right here, I have this empty page right here. And this is going to be the page where I want my event notification will be. So to add your event, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the menu on the left side of our screen. And we're going to go to this Wix app market menu. And then you're going to want to type out event. Once you do that, several results are going to come in and we're going to want to choose this week's event and tickets app. And after you found it, go ahead and click it. And then you're going to want to click add to site. Once you do that, you're going to want to wait until your event page shows up. So this is how my event page looks like. As you can see, it turns out that the first thing that this event page does, it, it shows multiple events instead of just one. I don't really want my event to be displayed like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the display event and I'm going to start to setting on how my event page looks like. You can see right here on the pop-up menu that I can change how my event looks like from multiple event to just a single event. I can also settings on which events do I want to show, whether it's upcoming events or any other events I might have. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on a single event because that's what I wanted to do. And obviously, because I only click on a single event, I don't really have choices on which kind of event I would want to put so upcoming event it is and then you can also click on the layout menu to change the layout of your event you can make it only as a button or as how I like to do it I like it to seem full and then you can also choose the image layout whether you want the image to be on the side of your event details or you want it to be vertical or if you want your event to be on top of your background. I'm just going to keep it as it is for now and if you would like to customize your layout even more you can also click on the customize image button under those image layout and over here you can adjust the proportions of your pictures to the proportions of your event details. All you have to do is just you're going to have to drag around on this bar right here and it's going to show you the percentage of your event detail as well as your pictures. I'm just going to leave it 50-50 for now and we're going to go to the next tab. So next we're going to want to click on the main button on our menu and we're going to want to start and manage our events. So this is how your event menu is going to look like. If you want to settings your menu, this is the first thing that you're going to see. So the first thing you will want to decide is the type of event you're going to create. Will it be a ticketed event where you will offer your customer to pay for your event or whether it's an RSVP where you can just collect RSVPs and then you can invite your customers for free. And then on the general info, you can insert your event name, your short teaser, let's say you want to explain a little bit about what your event is, and you can also insert the event categories. And then you can also insert the image of your event to make it even clearer and to catch the attentions of your web visitor. Next, you're going to want a setting on your date and time. So you can choose whether your event is going to be just a single event or it's going to be a recurring event. You can choose the start time as well as the end time of your event. And you can also just click on to be decided if you don't know when your event is going to be held yet. I'm going to choose the single event for now. And on the start date, you can choose on when your event is going to start. My event is just going to be a one day event. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a date and then I'm going to state the starting time. As for this event, I'm going to choose 3 p.m. as the starting time and I'm going to use 6 p.m. as the end time. As for the time zone, it's going to automatically read the time zone of where you are right now. 
but obviously you can change it if you want. Let's say you are using this website to handle something outside of your countries, etc. You can choose on the available time zone. And then you can also choose on the locations of where your event is going to take place. Is it a physical location? Is it online? Or even if you haven't decided yet, you can go ahead and choose the to be decided. Once you're done, you can save your event and then we're going to go to the next step, which is creating a ticket. So you can go ahead and click on create a tickets button over here and start customizing your tickets. All right, so this is the ticket setting and there is one thing you will need to pay attention to before you can design your tickets PDF. You're going to want to fill in all of the necessary information such as the ticket's name the descriptions, the pricing method, etc. Only after you fill in all of the important information that you will be able to design your tickets PDF. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and insert the information on my ticket. I added my ticket name, which is baking class, and then just a subtle description, just a short description on what this ticket is going to come with. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose the pricing method first. So there are several pricing methods that you can choose. You can choose a fixed price or you can also choose price options. Pay what you want or you can also choose free if you want to make this event just as a free event. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the fixed price. So every single person are going to have to pay the same way. And then you can also choose on the currency for your tickets. And if you choose on the price options, which is you can create multiple layers of payment or multiple layers of pricing, you're going to want to add your layers of pricing. So they're going to give you an options for that. But again, I'm just going to go ahead and use the fixed price instead. And over here, you also have the options to limit your tickets quantity. You can choose whether your tickets is going to be unlimited or you would like to limit it. And then you can just insert the amount of tickets you will want to sell. And then last but not least, they're going to show you the ticket fee that they're going to charge if you want to sell through Wix website. So here are the fees and you can choose whether you want your buyers or your customers to be the one who pays the fee or you will want to make the fee as an absorbed fee, meaning that the fee are going to be cut from what your customer is paying you. And then you can also use the advanced settings where you can set the ticket sales period. Let's say that you want your tickets to be sold only in certain periods of time. You don't want it to be on your page all the time. This is going to limit the displays of your event page on your web page. So let's say, I want to sell my tickets from January 30 to February 10th. So what it does is that after those period, I can hide the tickets from the event detail page while they're no longer on sale. And then once I'm done inputting all of the necessary information, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save the information for now and then I'm going to start and design on my ticket. So these are the tickets templates that you can choose. You can choose whether you want to go with the default basic one or they also have a sleek design right here and they also have other designs that you can choose if you scroll down on the menu on the left side of your screen. So there are some tickets that have pictures on it and the classic one or the default one is just the one with the blank page. It doesn't really have pictures on it. And if you choose the one that has pictures, you can just go ahead and change the pictures to your event pictures. Feel free to customize it, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and use the classic one. And once you're done designing your ticket, you can preview it to see if all of the information you've inserted is already right, the time, the location, the price, etc. Because this is the tickets that they're going to receive once they bought their tickets from your website. All right, once you've checked all of the details and you know that everything is right, you can just go ahead and click on save. And that's it. That's how you can create events with Wix website. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.